cycle on which all the circuitry is attached. At the back of the cycle, I have put a dynamo. The work of this dynamo is when the player pedals the cycle, this dynamo rotates and produces voltages at this terminal. And then these voltages fed into the Arduino microcontroller board which tells the Arduino that the player pedals the cycle. And for the turning mechanism, I have made a voltage divider here with the help of three electrodes. So when the player sitting on a cycle turns the handle towards the left, these two electrode touches and complete the voltage divider at the particular pin on Arduino. And when the player rotate the handle or cycle towards the right, these electrode touches and fed the signal into the Arduino. So in this way, Arduino get three inputs, one from left, one from right and one from this Denmo when the player pedals. And Arduino grab all these signals from these three different mechanisms and send these signals serially to the PC. So the PC fed the signal then to the video game I have made and control the visual position of the visual cycle in the video game. And on the software side, here is the program which I have uploaded in the Arduino. The three input, two from electrodes and one from Dynamo, I have connected on the three pins of Arduino, two, four and six. And say in the program of Arduino that if input on the pin 3 was high then serially send the number 3 and if the input is high on the pin number 4 then serially send pin 4 and if the input is high on the third pin then serially send a number 5 and if none of the input will uh, is high then serially send 0 and then I have modeled the whole university on the software 3d max the every single detail of the department, canteen and everything of the university is designed on the 3D. And then I, I have imported all this 3D model to the game engine called Unity. And in this Unity, I have write several scripts on C Sharp and attach on every object. So this object will work according to the programming. Now I have made a path, serial path from the Arduino to Unity and add a C-sharp script to the player here is our player and the C-sharp script name rotator in the starting of the script I have made a CL communication pathway between the Arduino and the Unity and the character which are serially sent by the Arduino to the PC are received in this script and I have made a switch case in the C-sharp script that if the upcoming letter from the Arduino uh, sorry upcoming number from the Arduino is 5 then transform translate the, uh, the position of the player to the forward and if the upcoming letter from the Arduino are 3 or 4 then rotate the cycle to the right or left so in this way when the player sitting on a cycle rotate the handle of the cycle to the right side the Arduino send the uh, number 5 uh, number 3 serially and then unity rotate the visual cycle on the game with respect to the player position so here is how the game is working and I'm gonna hit the play button now the game has started and here is a cycling player in the university collecting the coins for the scoring system I write a script on C sharp name score in which I put the condition that if my player hits or collide with any of the coins, the score will increase to 10. For example, on the top right corner, you are seeing the score is 50 now. And when I collide with any of the coin, it will become 70 and 80. And it will increase every time when I collide with the coin. I also attach a script of timing which has a time of 2 minutes, 120 seconds. And the goal of the game is to collect all the coins in the given time otherwise the game will be over. I also make another condition that if the cycle will collide any of the object present in environment like dustbin, benches or container, anything, the game will also be over like this. So now it is the time for testing this game on physical cycle. Let's go.
Yeah, yeah.